hello everyone so in this video i'm going to show you uh, animation from light mode to dark mode and after this video uh, there will be three to four more videos on the same app so uh, basically i just wanted to show you how you can manage animation when your app grows so in this app we have three modules so one is a user module so like this is a profile page where you can add it user change image one is a transaction module where you will have all the transaction where you will add a transaction uh, means add income expense and there is also added delete similarly in history you can see all the, the history of your transaction and graph and there is also a uh, sign up and sign in module so i have designed all these uh, in figma uh, so just to show you some animation that you can do okay so in this first video we are going to look into uh, this dark mode to light mode animation so before starting the animation i just want to uh, walk you around so how so this uh, background that we are going to animate it's a component that is uh, a wrapper component i will i would say so it's a, just a view that is taking flex one and uh, we are checking the theme that is coming from theme context so like i have made i've i've managed a top level manage a uh, top level state that is theme context transaction context and user context so in theme context i am just setting the theme as whatever the user have selected so toggle theme and all that and all that uh, functionality so from provider i am sending the theme and custom background i am just grabbing that theme so i'm just using context api here so based on that i'm checking if it's dark then just render black or white so right now if you'll see it's just changing the color but animation is not happening so and and this custom background is wrap around all the pages so in profile also so if we'll go to profile custom background and there is one uh, history page even there i'm doing the same so this is the history page which have this animation okay cool so let's go to background where we want to animate this so first what we'll do we'll import uh, we'll make a component that is a theme anim that will be a use shared value we'll give it zero by default then what we'll do first of all we'll make this view a animated view so this animated will come from reanimated okay and we'll just save it now so this here animated style will change this into use animated style okay this is coming from reanimated this will have a callback function which will return same all the uh, all the styles basically so it will copy cut and paste there so uh, nothing will change and we can still see there is no animation so now what we need to do we need to interpolate based on this value so we'll do interpolate color okay so not interpolate you have to do interpolate color based on theme anim dot value so if you hover over it it will require a value an animation value and input and output range so input range will be 0 and 1 so basically 0 is dark and 1 is light 
and a same color will put there so for zero it will be dark and for one it will be light this so now if i'll save it so for zero it is this and for one it is a uh, light if i'll save it i'll give it a refresh okay okay so what happened is even when you change the state uh, this doesn't turn into white means light mode is not uh, working but dark is working so what is happening is uh, this animated style will only run for the first time and even if state is changing uh, this will not change so uh, we'll have to do something we'll have to listen for an event that when state changes then you need to change the style uh, i mean the animation value from zero that is dark to light so what we can do is we have a method that is used animated reaction of it's a you can say a life cycle method of reanimated so what it takes it takes a uh, two thing that is now uh, basically three things a value on which this should rerun a value on which this should calculate or uh, this should wait for any changes a callback that will give you two a uh, variable that is previous and next value and third argument is the dependency on what you want this to rerun so i'll i'll quickly i'll write the function so first of all we need to watch for theme value okay now theme value uh, this will watch for theme value and now the callback function will will get that will have a next value and a previous value so i'll quickly log here next value and a previous value and last will there will be a dependency so we want this to be run whenever theme changes that's it so when we save it uh, it's imported yes we don't need this react native so we'll save it now i'll open the log so you'll see dark and null now for the first time this next value will be uh, the current value that is dark and the next value so theme is dark the previous value is null because it never changed this is the first time we load the app this will null will come when you will load that for the first time okay so now what you have to check if next value is not equal to previous value so if next value is not equal to previous value that means the value has changed and a previous value is not null basically when previous value is not null and both the value are different that means our theme value has changed so what we'll do we'll check if theme dot if theme is equals to dark so we need theme nm dot value to turn into uh dark that is zero and otherwise we want theme nm dot value to change into light that is one and we can do this with timing with timing is will give you a, a animation with whatever duration you describe so we'll stick to 350 a same thing we'll do with the light mode yeah so we'll save it now okay and we'll rerun the app okay so now if you'll change the state you'll see it changes nicely and the good thing is uh, you have you have wrapped this custom background everywhere in profile so 
everywhere fill in will change the state of the app it will uh, animate nicely okay okay so there's one more problem with the app so uh, i have implemented local storage that is async local storage package which basically saves the state of the user that is to in token and also it saves the theme selection of that user so basically if i'll do light theme and if i'll close the app and if i let I'll open it again that uh, async storage will run in app so in app it will fetch the theme and basically it will change uh, as per the selection so it was a light theme so you see every other variables are uh, uh, rendering based on the light theme except our background because in background we have selected zero by default which is dark mode so we have to check if at the start of the app if the theme is dark then only it should be zero else it should be one so we'll save this uh, we'll reload the app so now you see if it's uh, light it will change to light so if it's if it's dark and we'll close the app we'll open it again it will check and it will render dark because this runs for the first time as you saw previously and if i'll close it in the light mode and if i'll open the app okay so i think this is that is fixed so guys thank you for watching video thank you